So you just select your composure element. In this case, for the input pass, we'll use the media plate and go to composure inputs. And in the input options, we can now select NDI input pass. And this opens an NDI receiver. And from the receiver list, in this case, we'll select the NDI test patterns sender. We have that here. And you can see in this case, I've got the our video plane placement already active or a transform pass. So if I go to my comp, my video plane is already set up in the right place in my scene. And other than that, you can enable or disable the sender. And if required, you can add a sound wave, which will capture the audio from the NDI. On the sender side, I'll just restore the chickens to my comp. On the sender side, it's a very similar setup. So if I go to my main AL comp in this case, I just want to go to composure, output, and now I can add an NDI output pass. And that's then going to open up the option of adding an NDI sender name. I can select the color format between BGRA and UYVY. I can technically capture the or the audio, which will be the audio of the viewport, and then obviously enable or disable the NDI feed. And I've got my resolution settings below. So if I go to NDI Studio Monitor, I've now got my various NDI passes here. So this is the pass direct from my comp. And you can see I've also got passes set up from the CG element and from the mat 